Hey guys, Megan here from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous TV Patia. It's a busy, busy weekend here in Patia at the Maprajan Lake. Six continents, 30 countries and over 4,000 athletes are right here in town this weekend for the 14th World Dragon Boat Championship 2019. Fabulous 103 FM with Crew Fon at Thai Time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn today? About the words, very good atmosphere. When you're going to a restaurant and you think, wow, it's a nice one. You want to uh, take someone out, then it's called in Thailand, Banyakad. Banyakad. Banyakad means atmosphere. And then you just say, D, Banyakad D. Oh, a nice atmosphere. Yeah. Banyakad D. Yes. Banyakad D. Very good. But it's one word, so it's Banyakad D. Yeah, it's a good atmosphere, nice atmosphere. Ooh. Yeah, nice. I'm going somewhere at the weekend. I wonder if there's going to have a Banyakad D there as well. <laughs> Thai time on Fabulous 103. A manhunt is on for the Norwegian man who used martial arts to excess on Phuket. He was making a row on his hotel balcony at four in the morning. A neighbouring man from the UK complained and then faced him. But he was brandishing a knife at the time. Drunk, the Norwegian man is said to have used a neck hold on the man until he died. Allowed out on bail but ordered to remain on the island, he failed to appear in court this week and his whereabouts are unknown. An all-points bulletin has been released to police, immigration and airports. 16 people are reported dead and over 100,000 people affected by the tropical storms and monsoon here in Thailand this week. As the Red Cross and other authorities collect food and water, along with basics from donors around the nation, reports are that 31 provinces are affected. With more storms expected over the weekend and the coming week, for some the outlook isn't the best. A takeaway service of a different kind, two students who hacked into a meal delivery service, creating fake discounts and selling them to their friends, have been caught. Someone got the maths to add up to an amazing 1 million baht in reported damage. As the vouchers were just 100 baht each, that would mean that they stole over 10,000 of them. They've admitted to downloading 1,000. Most weren't used by the time they were caught. Check your debit cards. Do you have a chip-based one or is yours simply the old magnetic strip? 
If so, best to apply for a new one, as the old style will be defunct by the new year. 10 to 20% of cardholders still rely on the old style. From January, they won't work in ATMs or shops. Shooting out the tyres of a Honda Civic was the only option left to Patia Police, who chased a vehicle when it fled a road check, weaving in and out of small soys in the south of the city. Police first gave chase, before deciding it had all gone too far. The 35-year-old and his lady partner were finally stopped, handcuffed, and the vehicle checked. Ketamin was found and police were retracing their route, as he was spotted throwing more from the car during the chase. And finally, well, at least in my home soy, you could make a fortune. New reward schemes are being introduced, seeing the general public offered 50% of fines for offences that they report to the police. Report someone for doing graffiti, parking badly, dumping old cars, or unloading building material on a public road, and you get a reward. The best, though, is that reporting a dog owner whose pooch fouls the street will earn you half of the 500 baht fine. With most, if not many, left to wander here, I could have earned about 10,000 baht on my way to the studio this morning. On a serious note, the reporting scheme is likely to see police stations inundated with messages and some doing pretty well from the new law. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 27, a cloudy, overcast day with a good chance of rain. That is the local and national news from Fabulous FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and your city of... Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. The Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount says he cannot wait to play his first match for the full England team. The 20-year-old has made an eye-catching start to the Premier League season, scoring twice in four appearances after being handed a first-team opportunity by boss Frank Lampard. Such a proud moment. It's what you dream of for a very, very long time. Um... So you can't really have words to describe that feeling of stepping out for your country and making your debut. It's such a massive moment for your family, for all the, the coaches that you've worked with in the past. So it's not just a massive moment for me, but it's a massive moment for the people around me and people I've worked with before. And England play Bulgaria at Wembley on Saturday. The former Tottenham Hotspur star Gareth Bale was reported to be in line for a return to the Premier League, amongst other options, but he's still with Real Madrid in Spain and he's set to play for Wales in their next Euro 2020 qualifiers against Azerbaijan and Belarus. Just don't listen to anyone because they don't really know what they're on about, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, I, I don't read anything, I don't listen to anyone. I know most people don't know the situation, don't understand things, so, um, yeah... Even what they write means means nothing. The Premier League has the largest number of nominations for the FIFA FIFA Pro Men's World Eleven for the first time in 10 years. 21 of the 55 nominees play club football in England as the Premier League ended the dominance of Spain's La Liga. Seven of Liverpool's European champions are included, although Real Madrid and Barcelona each provided more players. The team will be revealed at a ceremony in the Italian city of Milan on the 23rd of September. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part 1. Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike license from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead, just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. No animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too.
<laughs> Don't give him any more coffee. Don't give him any more know, coffee. He's terrible Absolutely today, mental when he's had coffee. Uh, oh, right, OK, I'll calm down. <laughs> Nice and easy. Really kicking out. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Eleven thirty-eight. Let's do today's mm. universally challenged. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yeah. You're in the lead, Megla. Maggie, sorry. Yes. So you can go first. What's your buzzer going to be? Kick him out. <laughs> Kick you out. <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. What's Tenny's buzzer going to be today? Yeah. What's your buzzer going to be? Scott. Kick him out and Scott. <laughs> On. University Challenge. Right, eyes down looking. Here we go. Ready to play? Yes. Yes. Right, here's today's clue for you. Nice and difficult today. Oh, good. Oh, yes. I like the hard ones. Un- <laughs> Me too, Unlock then. the North East as mustard. Unlock the North East as mustard. Scott. Alicia Keys? You're saying Alicia I Keys? Was gonna, no, yeah, it no, be. it can't be. I know, it was worth a go, though. Go on then, Miglet. Unlock the North East. As mustard. North East. Unlock the North. Unlock. Um, unlock the Buzzing North when you're ready. East. As mustard. As mustard. Have you got it then? Uh, no, I'm just going to... I want to pass it over to, to yeah, Jenny. Yeah, to give you a clue. So, uh, um, kick him out. I don't know. Uh, Rihanna. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Uh, right. Um, right. Uh, Buzzing okay. when you're okay. ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's my buzzer? Unlock the Scott. northeast as mustard. Unlock the North East as mustard. Yes. So, um... Scott, hot, yes. cho- hot chocolate. You're saying hot chocolate to level yeah. the scores and make it 2-2? <laughs> how, how? Hot, mustard, hot. No. And the oh. North East is famous for chocolate. I don't think that <laughs> no, hot is part of the um, answer, but if that's the case, kick him out. Red Hot Chili Peppers. You're saying red hot chili peppers to go th- <laughs> you idiot. three one. <laughs> but how does unlock ah, the north? I love you, east? Megan. You're so funny. <laughs> uh, unlock the north east. Unlock the north east. So should uh, we help each other? Yeah. Should we? Get... Is it the north east of Thailand or is it the north east of England? If it's the north east of England, you've got Newcastle, Leeds is up there somewhere. Leeds is not in the north east. Where of is England. it then? It's in West Yorkshire, mate. Well, it's, it's... God's God's County. <laughs> Northeast. <laughs> Give him a slap, uh, Megan. Well, you? Newcastle's in the northeast. Yeah, Leeds isn't. All right. Well, I'm nearly there. Nowhere uh, near. No, you're not. Is it the north of England or north of Thailand? Doesn't you're matter. About? Just doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Unlock the northeast as mustard. Um. I Shall know. I give you a clue? Yeah, give us a clue. Yeah. What's the saying? As mustard. Oh, uh, yeah, we got that. He's as mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I don't know. There's I'm... a saying that everybody knows. Not... Oh, he's, he's as as mustard. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, uh, OK, OK. Oh, um, kick him out. Oh, shut up, Mick. Kick you out. You got the buzzer <laughs> in first. Robin Thick. What? No. <laughs> I don't know that saying. Uh, okay, uh, okay, I've got it, I've got it, oh, I've got it. Kick Scott, him out. Scott, Scott. Yes. Keen. What? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to level the scores and make it 2-2. Two, two. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Would you have got that? No. Oh, that's all right then. Who was it? Keen. Keen, Keen as done... mustard. Oh. You must have heard the old saying, Keen as mustard. <laughs> no. no. And no. Why, why unlock the North East? Can you explain that yeah. for me, please? Right, un- un- unlock, key. Key, North East, N E. Ah, very good, yeah. Okay, yeah, very cryptic, but uh, very, very good. Too intelligent for us to. <laughs> so it's yeah. all, all to play for tomorrow. Is it a new artist? Oh, shut up. Oh, behave yourself, oh, mate. Mega. In, fa- in fact, you can get out for saying you eat tomato sauce and custard, and you can get out for saying I'm keen a new artist. 
Honestly, I'm surrounded <laughs> by lunatics. old artist? I'm surrounded by <laughs> lunatics. They are in the charts at the moment. Really? Yes. Oh. My sister went to see them last Just don't uh, listen to them. Not my around. kind, not my been kind around of music. They've been around since the 90s, and okay? Very not popular. Even when you music. were in your 30s, Megan, they were <laughs> out and about. Jen, you know what kind of music I listen to. I know, to. and I can't. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very bad. Very, yeah. very yeah. Uh, explicit. In fact, bad. In fact explicit. the music that Megan listens to, they missed the C off the front of that record. Of, uh, oh, she's saying crap. Rap. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Oh, oh right, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> 11.43, universally challenged back tomorrow. All to play for tomorrow. The Lovely scores are level 2-2. Yeah. Two, two. Who's going to win tomorrow? Me. Probably, Denny. Yeah. <laughs> if we allow him back in the studio. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bring some custard and tomato sauce tomorrow. Definitely not letting him in. walk to cry. Ladies and gents are all welcome to check out the new and improved CK Jenny Salon, a full-service hair and beauty salon located at the Avenue Shopping Mall. Whether it be a massage, a facial, waxing, nails or hair services for both ladies and men, with over 12 years of experience, you can expect the very best from Jenny's team of talented professionals who will pamper your every need. CK Jenny Salon is the one-stop salon for all your beauty needs. They're now located on the ground floor of the Avenue Shopping Mall on Pattaya Second Road. Some nice burgers from this lady here, and some doner kebabs from this gentleman here. And here is like a little car boot sale. You can buy like all little bits of knickknacks, and they sell shoes and handbags for the ladies. So that's this bit. And then we've got the food stalls here now. This fella doing Tex Mex. Then you can buy the flowers here for your car, coconuts, and drinks again. This lady selling uh, fruit, bananas, pineapple, etc. Look at that, looks lovely, that. Hello? Yep, yep. This gentleman here selling fish and chicken, I think. And fresh veg, there, look. And then this lady here selling cockles and fish and salt fish. And this here, this lady's selling them. You ever seen that? They're like little shrimps and she does them in like a bowl and they're still alive. And they're all jumping about on your tongue. Ooh, I come to eat them, don't about you. Fried bananas. I bet they're nice. Aloy? Yep. And then this seems to be governed, you know, like a set up for the ladies more than, more than, you know, men. It's um, like the clothes and the perfume and the makeup and that lipstick, you know. Um, but some cheap bargains here, you know, clothes starting as little as 80 baht. So this is on every night of the week and it's halfway down Soy Bacow and it's the night market. And it's good if you want a little bag, you know, a little bite to eat, cheap. And then your phone accessories there, your phone covers and that. And some phone leads and adapters. So that's all good, isn't it? And now we'll just have a look around the new uh, the new food court. 
it's all under one roof now it all used to be separate but this is a good place to eat all this delicious food there and it's not too expensive got nice fans to keep you cool and then this lady here does steak and pizza if you fancy a change from Thailand food you can have a you can have a steak and pizza or the world famous Pad Thai that's the new food market and it's open every night as well and it's not a big market but it's a night market and if you want to go to the bigger market that's on a Tuesday afternoon and on a Friday afternoon or should we say all day basically uh, and that's right down the bottom end of Soy Cow down there okay so that's it for another quick movie for you Soy Cow Night Market how about that then catch you soon bye bye the Lion Pub in South Pattier was the venue for this month's Royal British Legion event. Operation Banner held to commemorate 50 years since the troops were sent to Northern Ireland. Soldiers and ex-forces travelled from all regions of Thailand to join the service, including Bangkok, Phuket, Karat and Udon Thani. The Act of Remembrance was read by branch chairman Bob Mann, standard bearer Richard Holmes lowered the standard, and Bert Elson laid a wreath to remember the soldiers, police and innocent civilians who lost their lives in what became known as the Troubles. A total of 3,620 baht was raised from the auction for the Poppy Appeal. The next Royal British Legion get-together will be held on Saturday the 28th of September at the Loft Resort by Maprajan Lake. Everybody's welcome to come along and you don't need to be ex-forces to show your support.